I love fish and chips on a Friday. And instead of doing the classic fish and chips, I'm going to be using sweet potatoes, which I'm going to be deep frying in some oil here, and using salmon for the fish and crumbing it. The sweet potato has just been placed in some water, brought up to the boil, and then just par cooked. And the reason I par cook them is just to make this process much easier and we're going to get a crispier result. Now, while they're cooking, we can get onto the fish. Now, this is about 450 grams of salmon here. I've asked my fishmonger to take out the bones and remove the skin, so we've just got the flesh there. And then I'm going to cut this into fish fingers and we'll cut them straight down. Now, I'm doing this because I want it to be roughly around the same size as my sweet potato chippies, but by all means, you can cut this into small cubes or you can do it into medium fillets just like this. So I'm just going to cut this last portion here, and this is enough for two people. Now, for the flour element, I'm using some corn flour, and we also need two eggs, and that's going to act like the glue. So two whole eggs straight into a bowl and another one here. And just to water this down, a little bit of water, so one tablespoon. And you can season the eggs now. If you wanted to add some Cajun spice to this, fantastic. I'm going to keep it just as is for this. And give it a really good whisk. You want the egg whites and the egg yolks to mix nicely. And then I've put this in order. This is how I like to crumb. This is how you should crumb. It is flour first, so one of these salmon fingers can go in there, lightly dust it and shake off the excess. Then we go straight into the egg and finally into our breadcrumbs. Now you can use some panko breadcrumbs, which you can get from all your grocery stores, or you could just use some breadcrumbs that you've made yourself. Now to make things extra interesting, I'm going to double crumb so it's super crunchy. So back into the egg and again, drain the excess egg off and then back into the breadcrumb. And that's how you get a super crunchy finish. So I'm going to continue on with the rest of the fish here. And then I'm going to start shallow frying it just in this other pan over here. starting to smell like a fish and chip shop in here and there's nothing wrong with that. I love it. So, fish comes out super crunchy. Look at this. The crumb is stuck so nicely to this fish. It's all about timing for this because you want it to be really crunchy on the outside and perfectly cooked on the inside. You don't want to overcook the salmon. And you can see what I've done here. I've just got a tray and placed a rack inside and that'll ensure that the air can move around it so you don't get that soggy side of the fish so everything will stay crispy. So while that's cooling, we've got to make a little bit of a tartare sauce. You can't have fish and chips without sauce. So in here, I've got some homemade mayonnaise and I like to add some capers. I'm just going to leave them whole and I like lots of capers for this. Also some cornichons, so just three cornichons here. You can use the traditional gherkins if you like, just chop them really fine. I'm going to cut these little ones into rounds. So this sauce can be really chunky like I'm doing it here today or you can make it really fine by chopping everything into small pieces. Also some parsley. I'm going to use the stalk of the parsley here because there's loads of flavour in it and you want about a tablespoon. And we need some acidity in here, so a little bit of lemon. I like to use some of the zest, so a little bit of lemon zest in there. About half a lemon is perfect. And then a good squeeze of lemon and this is going to thin out the sauce too, so squeeze that in there, catch any seeds. We'll give that a stir. And one last thing to make this really light, I love the addition of some sour cream for this. So one teaspoon of sour cream, and then we'll give that one last mix. And that is such a yummy tartare sauce. Into a bowl over here, top that up. And now for this fish and the chips, a little bit of salt on the sweet potato, and then also on the fish there. And then just with your hands, we're just going to pile up the chippies. Yum. I love sweet potato chippies. They're so nice. And then I'm going to get two perfect crunchy fish fingers here, pop them on top of each other. 
And so you can squeeze on a little bit more lemon just before serving. I'll put another half just on the side there. I love fish and chips, Friday fish and chips. Spice it up a little bit, make it a little bit different with some salmon, sweet potatoes, and always homemade tartare sauce.